Hello, and welcome back to Developer Matty's Microsoft Word tutorial series. Today, we're diving deep into text formatting and covering all the tools available in the font, paragraph, and style sections. We'll break this down into four parts to make it easier to follow along. Let's jump right in. First, let's start with the basics of text formatting using the font section in the ribbon. This is where you'll find the tools to adjust the appearance of your text. Font drop-down, this lets you change the style of the font. You can choose from a wide variety. Let's switch this text to Arial. Font size, this adjusts the size of your text. Let's increase the size of the heading to 18. Increase slash decrease font size, use these buttons to quickly make your text larger or smaller without manually choosing the size. Make your text bold. Bold is great for emphasizing titles or key points. Italics are commonly used for emphasizing words or phrases. Let's italicize installation. Underline, you can underline text to give it further emphasis. Let's underline document customization. Strike through, this draws a line through the text. It's useful for revisions or striking out content. Let's apply it to customize. Subscript, use this when you need smaller text below the line, like in chemical formulas. Superscript, use this for numbers or symbols above the text baseline, like in mathematical equations. Text effects and typography, this button allows you to add special effects like shadows, glows, or reflections. Let's add a shadow to key features. Text highlight color, use this to highlight text with a background color, like using a highlighter. Font color, this changes the color of the text. Let's change minimum to a bold red. Next up is the paragraph section. This is where you'll control the alignment and layout of your text. Align text left is the default alignment for most documents. Center alignment makes text as center. Mostly uses this for titles or headings. Align right makes text right aligned. Usually for date lines or document footers. Justify, this distributes text evenly across the page, often used in professional reports. Indentation increases or decreases the indent of paragraphs using the indent buttons.
Line and paragraph spacing, adjust the space between lines or paragraphs. Let's set the line spacing to 1.5. Borders you can add borders around paragraphs or text. Let's add a border to our list. Shading, add a background color to your paragraph. Let's add a light gray shading to the title. Now let's move to the style section. This is where you can quickly apply consistent formatting to your headings and paragraphs. Normal, this is the default style for all your body text. Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3, these are preset styles for headings that help structure your document. Let's apply Heading 1 to our title and Heading 2 to key features. More styles drop down, you can find additional styles for things like emphasis or quotes. Let's apply emphasis to the first line. Clear formatting, if you want to remove all formatting from your text, use this button to revert to the default style. Finally, let's cover how to organize your content using bullets, numbering, and lists in the paragraph section. Bulleted list. This creates a simple bulleted list. Let's bullet our key features. Numbered list. You can also create a numbered list. Let's switch to a numbered format. Multi-level list, for more complex outlines, use a multi-level list. Let's add a sublist under text formatting.
And that wraps up our deep dive into the font, paragraph, and style sections in Microsoft Word. These tools will help you format your documents with ease and precision. In the next video, we'll cover how to insert tables, images, and other objects into your Word documents. Be sure to subscribe to Developer Matty and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials. See you in the next video.